Hello everyone. In this part of the video, we are going to dive into the all new Flipgrid camera, dig into some of the cool new features that have been released. So I'm gonna start off from my last video where I set up a topic and I'm gonna click on member view so I see what it would look like for a student who is recording. So this will go for students recording and also as teachers, if you record a video of your own, it's gonna look the same. So let's go ahead and add a response and I'm feeling a filter today. So click on effects and you can go to the filters and you can toggle on any of these filters. All right, so I'm feeling this one right now. And then let me take you back to the start. So. Here is the Flipgrid camera that's going to open. So the first thing that I went into was the effects and that's where you can pull up a filter. Then the next thing you can do is you can add text. So that's nothing new, just like it was before. You can type anything. You can change the color. You can also move it around just like that resize, make it bigger, smaller, and you can duplicate if you want to kind of layer your response like this. A lot of times I'll do like point 0.1, point 0.2. If you have things on top of one another, you can move things to the front, to the back using these little arrows. And if you want to get rid of something, you delete. All right, let's go to the next thing, which is the pen tool. Nothing's changed here either. We can draw anywhere on our screen. Let's go back here. Board is the same. One of my favorites that you can add your board so that if you wanna kind of have something on the side here, you can be doing that and just talking to the screen. You can resize if you want your board to be bigger or smaller, just like so. Let's clear the board now. Let's get into some fun new things. There's more stickers that are available here. So we have a whole lot of them. You can search the stickers, you can just scroll through, and you can find them by category. You want some expressions, you want some accessories. Just pick it, I can move it, I can resize it, just like I just showed you with the text. All right, so let's just put that in the corner. Another thing that I really like to use the stickers for is as a pointer tool. So let me show you what I mean. Say you use a hand, you can use any fun emoji. Just go ahead and pull it onto your scene to kind of set your scene. And then when you're ready, press record and you can still move the emoji around to be able to point while you are talking and recording your video. Let's go back to effects. I can also add from the Giphy library, so you can add a GIF, a GIF, whatever you wanna call it. You can add one of the stickers or go over to the GIFs, select something fun. All right, back to effects. Photo is the same that you could do before. You can add media from your desktop. If you wanna upload a picture or even a GIF of your own, it can also support adding MP4s there. And then you have the frames. So we can pull in a fun little frame delete it. All right, let's go back and get into the really fun new feature, which is the backdrops. And before I do the backdrops, I'm going to just clear all this clutter from my screen. So I'm going to press the clear button that clears everything that I had. All right, so the backdrops are brand new. So that's going to allow you to choose one of the backdrops that's in this Flipgrid library like this. Whoa. All right. Um, so they have a whole lot that you can choose from. And what you can do is you can choose where you want to be in the background. So here I'm in the center, it's by default chosen. You can also go to the bottom left, the bottom right, and you can even just move yourself around and resize yourself to make yourself bigger or smaller wherever you wanna be on the screen. Now, in addition to those preloaded backdrops, you can also choose the blur, and that would just blur your background so that you kind of don't see what's behind the scenes. You can also add, so you can use a photo or video as a backdrop, so you can upload something that you have on your desktop. 
So here I had the snapshot. I was just looking at some of the new features in Edpuzzle. So I could upload that as the background, which I've done right now. And then I can kind of move myself around wherever I want to be so that I can be kind of presenting on the image that I've pulled in. So that can be a lot of fun for student presentations, right? But what might even be better for student presentations is this other option, use screen as backdrop. So if I choose that, I can choose to just share a window, a tab, whatever I wanna do. I'm gonna just choose a tab for this one, share it. So that's actually sharing this tab over here so that I can split screen and show you what this is doing. So basically you can see that this becomes my background. So I can scroll and kind of project my presentation and talk over it. Now I know my face is getting in the way of everything right now, but I can make myself small in the corner so I can go down to the bottom left or the bottom right and I can even move myself and I can resize myself to be anywhere in the scene, but I can be moving here and kind of showcasing my presentation just like that, which is absolutely fabulous to add some creativity to your presentations. In addition, you could go back to the effects and you could even get out your pen tool and you can mark up anything that's kind of on your screen as you are talking just like that so that you can add another element of engagement to focus viewers' eyes on what you are saying. So let's go ahead and clear that, and then I can scroll. So this would work great if you had a presentation going or even, just like I'm showing, a website. So this is all being recorded there, which is awesome. As a math teacher, I love the pen tool, and now I could really just pull up a worksheet, for instance, and I could use the pen tool to write out any solution to anything that I'm trying to show to students. So that is really awesome, both on the teacher end and as a student. Again, I can make myself bigger or smaller. And if I turn off my pen effect, then I can drag myself around just like that. All right, so that is the backdrop. That was me choosing use the screen as a backdrop and you can show anything on your desktop or in a browser window. All right, let's make this big again and let's go ahead and turn off backdrops for now. Okay, so I'm back. Let's see what other options that we haven't done yet. That's in this options window. And that would allow you to upload a clip. So I could upload a video right here if I wanted to kind of add multiple segments, say that I had recorded something on my phone, I could upload that if I had it. I can also go back to options, just do mic only mode if I just want to talk and I don't wanna see my face, that's an option here. To turn mic only mode on and off, you need to toggle it, okay? So like if I had mic only and then I go to mirror video, you'll see it's still in mic only because you have to toggle it off. Mirror video, if you wanna hold something up and it's backwards at first, you can mirror your video so that it makes it not backwards. Like you can see kind of the number in the background is backwards, but if I mirror it, now it's not backwards. So you can toggle that on and off. You can mute yourself. So maybe if you wanna do like a stop motion style animation video and you just wanna have text going or you just want some visuals, you could mute your microphone. And then the last thing is record screen. That was always available. That would allow you to do a screen recording the traditional way. So instead of like me using a backdrop and then being in the corner, if you just wanted to show your screen, do a screen recording and then you don't have to worry about moving like your face in and out of the frame. So that is an option that's the same as it was before. Now, how do we actually make the video itself? You press the record button to get started. So let's go ahead and record. Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying my video so far. Let's pause, get an effect. Let's go ahead and use some text here. Let's align this left. Let's move it over, make it smaller. Press record again. I hope you're enjoying my video so far. Pause, let's go ahead and duplicate this guy, pull it down, press record again. Let's look at backdrops one more time before we close. Pause, pull up the backdrops, let's get something fun. Do you love my scene? What do you think of this video so far? I can move myself down to the bottom left, pause. And I think that's enough of this video. Let's go to next. 
I can preview what I've done. Maybe I forgot to say bye to everyone. So let's go ahead and add some more. Let's go ahead and record. I almost forgot to say bye, but I'm going to say bye for now. Go ahead, next. At this point, you see my two clips, so my beginning clip and then this ending clip. If I needed to change order for any reason, I can just drag and drop to reorder my clips, just like that. And also, if I need to trim any of my clips, so let's say I go over here, I was silent at the beginning, so I wanna trim a little bit of that clip off, I can just pull it in. So basically whatever is in the blue region is what's selected and that's what's going to carry over. You don't need to worry about this delete clip. So just whatever's between the blue bars is what's going to actually save. So if I confirm, that chops off the beginning. Hello everyone. And that's really all I want for my video. I'm happy with it. Now the last thing I wanna show is how to add music because that's also brand new. So you can go through the different music that they have. You can press the play to listen to it. So this one's called Use It. Let's go ahead and use it. Just press the plus button to actually use Hello, it. Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying my video And you can so hear that far. it does a nice job of making that music soft enough so that you can still hear my voice very well. If for any reason you need to adjust the volume of that music, just go ahead and press on the music that you had chosen and then you can make it louder or softer accordingly. Leave that there. If you wanted to change the music, you can do that. You can remove it. I'm going to leave it because I like how it sounds now. So I'm just going to hit the X and that's going to leave it as it was. Then I'm going to press next to submit my video. If I don't like my little image that it chose for me, I can take a selfie to take another image or I can just select a frame and that would allow me to scroll anywhere through the video and I could choose a different frame. Let's choose that one there. And that's it. I can add a link. I can add a description and then press submit when you're all done and press done at that point. If your video is moderated, like this one's a moderated topic, then it will tell you your video submitted, your video will be hidden until approved by your group lead. Now, if it's not a moderated topic, then you would see your video immediately show up. Let me show you what it looks like when your teacher does approve your video. Once your teacher approves your video, you'll see right here that your video will just show up and you'll be able to watch it. If your teacher has given you any feedback, when you click on your video, you would be able to see that and sometimes they'll leave you private feedback and sometimes it'll be public. If it says private, only you are able to see that. If it says public, then the whole class is able to see that and you as the student can also comment if your teacher has enabled comments. You can comment on your peers' videos through text or you can make a video comment back to them right here. So that's a quick walkthrough. I hope it was helpful. I hope you really enjoy having fun expressing your creativity through Flipgrid this year. Bye.